Hi everyone, I want to show you how to create a raster describing the density of this points layer. There are many uses for that. Let's think we want to see the density of trees of certain type or whatever. It's very useful. Uh, it's called a heat map or kernel density. It used to be on the raster menu, but it's not there anymore. So we have to go to the toolbox and look for the heat map or we could do it through here and now to the interface actually what this function does defines a raster which is a, actually a collection of cells each cell has a density value based of the number of points within a radius around it so let's see how it works you have to define the layer you want to count the point to count the points in. It's a points layer, and you can see it's all within one degree. So it doesn't make any sense to search within one hundred. Okay, it's not degrees; it's met meters. So within one meter, it doesn't make any sense to search within one hundred meters. So what we do is, let's say we put 0 0.1 here, but that creates a really small uh, uh, raster, so we can decrease the size of the, the points here to, let's say, this, but it doesn't make sense to have it wider than longer okay it's it's okay it's a vertical raster now the radius the search radius can change based on a field in this points layer the weight of each point can change based on a field in this layer let's say let's say it's cities and we want more power to cities with a large population we can put the population field here. We can change the shape that does the the search, but this is okay. We can define a decay ratio, which meaning it's not linearly related to. Uh, it's not only what's in the circle. It's also distant points will have less power than closer points. And last. We have to define the name of the file. This is the code one. And let's see what we have. Nice. This is beginning to be okay, but let's increase the search radius. And run it again. Just one second. Remove the old one so we can see the changes. Go back to the heat map and run it. Okay, that's better. That's smoother. It shows that most of the points are around here. It shows the shape of this uh, layer. Thank you, we are done.